Oh my God. Welcome. It's your girl, Amber Ashley, your favorite fashion and personal stylist. Okay, so today it's sunny. Um, it's 66 degrees, 66 degrees, and I'm in my studio. So now you see what it looks like in the daytime, and everything's still set. You know, racks I have a lot more garments in here. So um, yeah. So today though, right? I want to talk about this top. This is a dress, right? Um, it has a hole in the back, right? I don't know how exactly that happened, but I'm going to repair it. I'm going to sew it, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, my name is Amber Ashley. I'm an independent fashion and personal stylist located in West Haven, Connecticut. This is my styling studio. Uh, please check out my website, iceteamstyles.com. You can book me there if you have you know, your own personal <coughs> styling things that you need help with. Um, um, all right, so I'm excited. So this is the dress. I got this dress. I probably got, I, I don't remember, honestly, but again, probably at Macy's on Clarence. You have to check out Macy's Clarence Rack. They have so many items there. doesn't matter really the brand, but essentially that is like very nice can go with a lot of different looks um can be set for a lot of different looks and is you know probably like 10 bucks or something so this would be good to give you guys the look so let's 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 do it i'm going to show you how to sew this whole back oh and for me what i have on today it's nice and you know, i get hot fast so this is just a dress um i had took my hair out you know um i had i have it out this cardigan um i've had for a while i believe i got this offline um a boutique that i don't know the name because it's not branded but it has the solar system on it galactic maybe the galaxy um, this dress was thrifted and these I got these at shoe depot I'm actually gonna customize these on the bottom I'm gonna look and see so stay tuned for that and yeah very simple today I just have these five dollar shades from sunglassespot.com Here's the hole. That's the hole. Okay. That's the hole. Okay. black black okay. so I'm trying to put this on this Try to look at what's the needle. I 
I'm just gonna take this one that I already started pulling out. Take that out. Right. And take the thread. I'm gonna unravel. I don't know a specific length, but I'm gonna go to like, I'm gonna go, oh shit, I don't even know. I feel like this is about almost three feet. Almost three feet. Okay, so what I do before I cut it off of this side, I put it through. Now there's a lot of ways you can do this. I just have a steady hand, so I'll put it through. I have a steady hand, so I'll just put it through like that. And it's there, so. Pull it to the bottom, then even it where you're gonna cut it right here, so where that end, Where that end piece part is. So I'm just gonna cut it now. And now, it's even. Okay, so we don't need that, and we will still need the scissors. So now, at this part, now, at this end, right, I'm just gonna use my index finger to make a loop and pull it, right, and try to get it close to the to the end part as possible and then just do it again and then do it one more time so at least at least twice so and try to see my whole went a little down mine went a little dang this is like kind of hard to see the dots i'm gonna try to do another one So try to even it to make it where it goes on top of the dot, the knot, sorry, that you did. Usually I get this. Oh, today is not popping. <laughs> I did three. All right, let me do it one more time. Try it one more time. Should be able to get it. Yeah, all right, so it's on, oh my gosh. It's on that middle thick one that is giving that joint right there. So that's where our knot's gonna be. So now take the garment. You can flip this all the way inside out, or you can just take, since this is a small section, uh, you could just have the hole open. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going, because this is a seam right here, this black, I'm going to fold it on onto itself, right? So fold it onto itself. Then I'm going to line up where it is. I take my needle. I usually start from the most frayed end. So this end, right? And you could cut that, but just wait. Um, so I'll just loop both of it in. So loop it like that. And it's in, it's in. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The loop, loop it again like this. And keep going. See the hole still? All right, so we're basically bringing both of those seams back together. So, just make sure you're going over and under it like that. And 
just keep going. So it's coming together now, right? And because of this material, you might have to go a little lower, depending on, but this is just because of this hole here. So I'm gonna, I'm not even doing this even either, honestly. Like I'm just, I'm just staying, trying to stay as close to the seam as possible, but also where I have enough material so I can close it. This is like, so see, it's starting, it's staying together now. See, it's staying together, staying together. Okay. Now, keep going. Ah, I just pricked myself. Okay, so now I'm at the other side. Now it's not done. So there's still a hole, okay? I'm going to go back over it. Go on the other way, okay? Go on the other way. Right, so now the hole is gone. There's still a little section here, okay? I'm gonna go back now the other way and make sure it's, it's tight, okay? So we're gonna go like this, so we're gonna go like this. Now this this time, so now I'm going going back. Okay. Now this hole is right. I'm almost there. I'm gonna go a little under. I'm gonna go a little under the knit here bring it back and then i'm going to make sure the seam is half and i'm gonna go like that now you don't see the hole okay it's gone see the hole is gone continue though go all the way to the end okay i'm gonna show you what to do at the end and keep going you don't have to use the entire amount of string you got because that's why usually about I really feel for it, but about three feet is usually enough. So now, it's not gonna look perfect because that part of that seam is gone, but at least it's not a hole there, you know? So you'll work with it, you know? And people will not ever notice. People will never notice this, trust me, so. All right. So that looks good enough for me, so. Now it's gone, there's no hole. Hole is gone. Hole is gone. Okay. I haven't taken the needle out yet. I'm just trying to show you there's no hole. Hole is gone. Now this is the part, so use our scissors again. Give yourself enough room to cut. You're gonna take the, fat, the thread and you're gonna open it and you're gonna tie a knot, All right? So that's one, then you're gonna do another one. And that's two. I'm just gonna do three for good luck. And then you're gonna cut it, you're gonna t uh, t twist it so it stays together and cut as close, because nobody's ever gonna see this inside, I just cut a little high and then that's it. And then that's it. Now, the neckline is officially back, except for that side. 